You're right guys, it's Capgun Tom here and today we're going to be looking through the team of the season players that have been announced for the most consistent but never got an informed gold. So let's jump in and have a look who we've got because we've got a whole bench full of them. As always, if you're looking for Ultimate Team Coins, check out that link down in the description. So first off, Landon Donovan from LA Galaxy, 90 pace, 85 passing, looks pretty beastly. We have Vela who has 89 pace, that's unreal, 84 shooting and 88 dribbling. He will be an absolute beast, I would reckon. Then we have Mikel Arteta from Arsenal, 71 pace, 91 passing, 88 dribbling and 85 shooting, some very good stats for him. In the other cam position we have Diamante, looks like he might be alright but he'll probably won't go for that much. 87 shooting is unreal though as well as 89 dribbling and passing of 85. We have Borja Valero, he will be a pretty decent one, definitely for hybrids and stuff for Serie A and Spanish players so there you go, 67 pace, 89 passing, 86 dribbling and 72 defending Javi Martinez this guy I imagine will be going for the most or one of the most expensive players in this team of the season lineup 70 shooting 82 passing and 88 defending as well as 87 heading he's a very strong center defensive mid moving on to the defense first up at right back we have Rifa from Fulham looks like he may be all right but definitely not going to compete with the better right backs already in the BPL we have Jaggy Elka 73 pace 73 passing 87 defending and 87 heading. We have Borchetti. He may go for a little bit. The Russian League centre-back who's Italian. 80 pace and 70 passing as well as 85 defending and 85 heading. Then we have Unkulu. Love this guy. He's already had an upgrade in January but this one's an 85 rated overall. 82 pace. That's unreal for a centre-back. 79 passing, 72 dribbling as well as 88 defending and 81 heading. Moving on to the bench we have Mignole from Sunderland. He should go for a little bit. He was a fantastic silver goal goalkeeper last year this year he's gold which means that he's not quite as popular but he is still a very strong player we have Moisander from Ajax this will make people from uh, Holland very happy as they seem to feel they get a little bit um short change when it comes to informs on ultimate team we also have Rever from Atletico Monero and uh, he won't be going for too much I can't imagine Gonalons from Olympic Lyon a special player for me, Ainan, as uh, I use him in all of my Burak Yilmaz hybrids and uh, he will definitely fit in nicely into that uh, sort of team. He has 74 pace, 87 shooting and 89 passing, which is kind of crazy. We also have Castro. We have Lenz, who will go for quite a bit. PSV, 90 pace, 86 dribbling, 83 shooting. Very, very strong player. One of the players that I'm most excited about in this one is Mangala from Porto. Fantastic centre-back, 81 pace, 70 dribbling, as well as 84 defending and 85 heading. We have Nazic from Man City. We also have Jakob from uh, West Brom. Looks like he may go for a little bit in the CDM rule. We have Dan Manovic. He is a pretty fun player to play with out in the Korean leagues. And then we have Ruben Castro as well. So guys, we will now have a look at the bronze and silver team of the season most consistent. Let's jump straight in. First up, we have Jonathan Sorero. He looks like a pretty beastly player. Then we have Pele. 60 pace, 75 shooting, a decent silver there. We also have Cruz from the Bundesliga. Looks like he may be a lot of fun to play with that. 77 passing and 78 shooting as well as 78 pace. We have Ince out on the right wing from Blackpool. Pretty decent looking player with the 83 pace. We also have Delaflu. This guy's going to go for an absolute ton. 93 pace right winger. 88 dribbling. I think he has four star skills as well. We then have Rode, another Bundesliga player. Looks like he may be a good one as well. 77 pace, 77 dribbling and 76 defending. We also have Schneiderin or Schneiderlin from Southampton. He looks like he may be a good one to have as well, especially since he's from the BPL. He'll go for a lot. We have Holobas. This left back from, I think it's Olympiacos, oh my god, 90 pace, that's absolutely unreal. He's going to be going for a ton as well. We also have Bezler, and it may be worth opening a few silver packs, guys, because there are some absolute beasts in here. We also have uh, Wallach Chwisak, I can't really pronounce his name, 79 pace centre-back, so a very good centre-back there. We also have Agassa in goal from Stad, I believe that's Stad Brest, maybe I'm wrong, or Stad Reims, I can't remember. Anyway, moving on to the bench, we have Terranova, decent looking centre back from uh, Serie B. We also have Coke as well from Atletico Madrid. Then we have Commons, who is from Celtic. We have Lee Con Ho, who looks like a very fast left winger, 93 pace, that's unreal. Gonzalez, 89 pace, um, 
right winger looks like a good one to have. Aled, yeah, as well. He looks like a good striker. 85 pace. There's just so many good players in there. We also have Griffiths as well. He looks like a strong striker. 85 pace. That's unreal. Moving on to the bronze, we have Kovic. Um, who looks like he may be a decent goalkeeper. I mean, look at that. 71 diving, 71 handling, 72 reflexes, and he's bronze. That's ridiculous. We have Gaynor from Sligo Ray Rovers. Scarion from... I don't even know where that is. Never heard of that team before, or never seen that badge, at least. We have Mag Homer as well. 79 pace left mid. And then the final player of this is Madden. And uh, he looks like a decent player as well from Yeovil Town. So, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Sorry it's slightly later up um, than usual, but uh, that's just my internet speed and all I can do. So, hope you've enjoyed it anyway. Please drop the video a like, and I will see you all next time.